Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to go over three different autoresponders, um, some of which have free options, and tell you which one I think you should do if you're building a list. Now, we'll start off with Aweber. I've been an Aweber client for many years, and I've been moving my... I've been moving away from it, um, mainly because it's really clunky. It's really set up in the old format where people are on specific lists, rather than tags and it gets really clunky so you can see even on the um the dashboard here um you know you can go to the messages you can see the automations you can you can go to subscribers and and uh, whatnot and it keeps a lot of this stuff that's just been uh been saved that that really shouldn't be um but they have specific lists and if you can actually pay for a, if a contact is on multiple lists you can actually pay for that. So they still want you to kind of create a new list and you know the automations are really, really clunky um, with this. And if you wanna send out a broadca broadcast, you can certainly do that. The, uh, the forms, again, are, uh, are really, you know, they look not great. Um, so I'll just show you a, a form. Uh, let's say I'm gonna put it on a landing page. So these are kind of like the forms you get, um, which you know you can make them look a, a little bit prettier. Um, but even so, they look really, really clunky. Um, you can now add tags to it. It's a little bit easier to do that. And you can add custom fields to these, these fonts. But overall, I would definitely not recommend Aweber as the place to start. Another option, um, that you can do is ConvertKit. Now ConvertKit has a free plan. There are some limitations with it. This is actually the uh, the free plan. And what I like about it is they have the best onboarding experience um, for creators. Like if you're a person that wants to start doing email marketing and you know you don't know that much about email marketing and how to set it up, definitely start with ConvertKit. Um, they've got great integrations and it's really easy to do a lot of things. And they've broken it down into these different uh, sections, which really makes sense. Um, they got some, some really good training. Um, and when you go on, they'll put you down one of the funnels based on what you want to do. If you want to earn money, sell digital products, if you just want to start growing your list, um, and they'll have little steps for you to take. But what is broken down here is grow. Um, so there's subscribers where you can browse your subscribers, landing pages and forms. I'll just take you through here. So you can see the subscribers, they've got good stats. You can get an email based on uh, when people have subscribed and you can add tags and all that stuff. It, you can also make landing pages and their landing pages and forms look good. Um, here's an example of a, a page that I just put on uh, on my form and this is on the bottom you can actually just integrate it and put it on the bottom as the post footer for all your posts on your blog um, just with the just with the plugin so that's really easy to do um, I was surprised how easy it is and again they want to make these things that really help people that are creating digital content you know get started and see some results now the main limitation of ConvertKit is there's I think a thousand subscriber limit and there is um, you can't do sequences so their sequences are where you kind of have automations and that's where the real magic happens um, and they have their snippets here which is you know again globally whereas with Aweber you got to set it up per list it's, it's really clunky however you can send broadcasts and one of the nice things is when someone subscribes and you have get an email it will tell you which form they use so if you're on a budget that's a really easy way to um, just jump in put a manual tag on them and you know as you start building your list and at the same time you're not um, you know you know you don't have a recurring income so this is a broadcast um, it's much easier to uh, you know to uh, to create this the templates look good the um, you know the content the font it just looks so much better um, obviously with the with the free version they're gonna have this um, but you're not going to um, need to um, 
if you upgrade, then it obviously wouldn't wouldn't have that. But it's a nice screen. It's it's easy to start typing your content. Um, you can put in personalizations here, um, and this will look for you know their email address or or specific tags that you can put in, um, so on and so forth. So it's really easy to do. One of the nice things about ConvertKit also is you can automatically send it out to people that didn't open um, with a different subject line. So that's really great. Now the automation, this is where the magic happens in the autoresponder. And with ConvertKit, you're only paying when you upgrade for one subscriber. So one email, you pay for that on your whole account, no matter how many tags and whatever they're uh, attached to. Whereas with Aweber, it's a little bit different. Um, you pay if you have the same contact on multiple lists, right? So let's say someone's on the prospect list and then they end up becoming a buyer. You're paying for two contact records and it can easily get um, so that you, you have multiple contacts that you're paying for. Um, so with Aweber, you have up to 500 subscribers, 3,000 emails a month, uh, which if you have 500 subscribers, isn't all that much. Um, it is really, really clunky though. Um, and then when you move to the paid plans, then um, you're, you're looking at uh, $16 to, to just, just start. Um, overall, again, I wouldn't recommend it at all. The other nice thing about ConvertKit, and this is really awesome, is you can easily just add a tip jar. Um, so I can just create a tip jar and you know say like tip me and you know uh, put it in and it's really easy to just get a link to that you can also create full-blown products right so this I just set up um, right here I'll just give you an idea of of what this is this is really easy you can just put in a picture you can type uh, what it is um, and you can just do personal coaching session and type out like you know um, a mini uh, description right here of what it is and once you've integrated your stripe account you actually need to it's a stripe express account so if you already have a stripe account it's not going to integrate you got to make this new kind of um, express account with them um, so that's a little bit not ideal i would say but you can you can customize this whole uh, product right here. Um, so you can add an upsell. Um, this is what it's, it's gonna look like uh, on the checkout page. Confirmation, you can um, adjust this as well, and the receipt email. Um, and that's done. You can actually literally create a product and send it out to someone. It's probably easier than creating an invoice in a lot of different softwares. You also can, as I'll show you here, um, do multi-pay pricing. So this one, you will have, um, it could be, this should be uh, $30 a month, but um, you can have a monthly pricing and also a yearly pricing. So people can choose which they want and then, uh, and then get that now, um, which is pretty awesome uh, for sure. And then they also have documentation, which is really helpful. They've got great support and they have uh, convert kit crash courses so this will show you different courses like this is how to launch sell and market your product or service so overall this is what i would recommend um, and certainly if you have if you're on a budget you can certainly start with the free account you know do some some uh, manual tagging because you can see exactly which form people are coming in at so you know what they're what they're looking for and you can create products and actually turn it into a net income right away which i think is really fabulous as a as a creator uh, so with aweber you'd still need to figure all that stuff out um, it's really just clunky in terms of of design and ConvertKit has incredible integrations. They've really worked to integrate with a lot of software, so it's really easy. Um, integrating with, let's for, for example, the WordPress plugin, it's just the API key, and you can get that right in your, uh, in your settings. So it's really easy to set all that up. You just kind of copy and paste the, the uh, API key and then the secret API key into the plugin. That's it. You don't even need to create it. It's already created in your... Um, account here so it's really easy the last option I want to talk about and this is another um, autoresponder that I use 
is called Sendfox. And they have a free plan. This is actually the, uh, the free plan right here. And um, they've got some good stats here. Um, and it's, it's just really clean. They don't have as good um, integrations. So integrating with WordPress is gonna be a little bit more challenging. Um, and again, they do have smart campaigns, which is really cool. So if you've connected, let's say your uh, YouTube RSS feed and your blog RSS feed or whatever content you produce, it will actually draft an email based on, hey, here's this content that I, that I produced this last week, um, which, is, which is pretty awesome. So they have automations which are just for um, the paid members. And I'll tell you about why I like this uh, as well in just a second. Um, so they have different lists. You can create a list. One little quirk with this is if you're adding contacts and you don't, and you just kind of import them here or you create one here, um, it's going to not put them on any list. So if you do want to create a list, you can create a list. And let's say it's, um, you know, um, blog report um, inquiries. Okay, and you can actually upload this or even import it right from Google. So they have good things like that. Um, and then you'd wanna add the contact here, okay? Um, so you can add different contacts uh, here. You can make custom fields, all that kind of stuff. And their smart pages are um, where you can build a, a mini landing page and just have people opt in. You can create forms here. Um, it's, it's again, you know, they've got a really good UI. It's very clear. You can give it a name, what list you want to put them onto. You can add invisible captcha where they go after they've um, they've they've uh, requested information, and you can easily um, just select um, you know what custom fields you want to uh, to do. Right, so not a lot of customization, but it definitely makes it pretty easy to publish a form. And um, yeah, I guess I got to put a, a title there and where where it can be allowed. Uh, but it really easy to uh, set up. Okay, now Sendfox. Uh, so we're gonna look at uh, Sendfox pricing. So Sendfox actually has a free version and they actually have an upgrade as well. So I'm gonna show you about the, uh, the pricing with AppSumo. This is $49 for one time, okay? Um, so 172 reviews. The one thing I don't like about this is the integrations. I always thought they should have better integrations um, and a lot of other softwares don't have a built-in integration with this yet, but you know, AppSumo does develop this software. Um, and so all of their in-house softwares that they've created, um, I've used all of them, they're all really good, and they're all updated uh, regularly. Um, I'll link to a video uh, in the cards here about TidyCal, which is like Calendly, but a heck of a lot better and only one time price. So you can get uh, this and have all the sequences and everything for, um, you know, just $49, okay, up to 5,000 subscribers. So that could be an option too. This is like a one-time price. Um, if you wanted to add this in later, you could add that in later. And if you wanted to add this one in later, you could certainly add that in as well. Whew. So those are three different options. Overall, I'm a big fan of ConvertKit. It's the most has a less friction for someone coming in because obviously if you do send Fox, yes, you can import those forms and put those forms in the, let's say the sidebar of your blog, but it's not going to be as intuitive. It's not going to be as easy if you haven't done that before. If you haven't done that before, um, you can do convert kit. And of course with convert kit, you can start with the free plan. Um, but if you know that you need to have automations, then you can certainly start with a paid plan. I'm going to put the links to all of that even TidyCal down in the description below. Um, but I thought I'd give you an overview just because I've used a lot of autoresponders in the past. And, you know, again, you don't want to be like me. You know, I'm, I'm still using Aweber uh, in some parts of my business just because it, that's, what I, that's what I set up on. Um, I'd be so much happier if I had, if ConvertKit had been around and I'd set up on ConvertKit, um, you know, back in the day. That would have been so much better for me. Uh, 
but because Aweber is really clunky, uh, their forms are just really a nightmare um, to, to, to deal with, I think, for the average person. And then you got to set all these lip, list options, all that stuff. Um, so I'm a big fan of ConvertKit. I think that's a place that you should start. Um, however, I wanted to mention SendFox as well, because if you just want that one-time price where you have those autoresponders working and you don't have a recurring fee, um, you might want to start there. And then, of course, you can always you know, import into a different autoresponder later. Not ideal, but it is an option if you are on a tight budget. So. If you have used any of these services in the past, if you agree, if you disagree, let me know in the comments what I got right, what I got wrong, and hopefully this video gives a lot of value for people that are trying to build a digital course, people that are trying to build a, a business online. And you know there are some great options that I just mentioned that you can start even for free. So the question is, if not today, when? You know, think about what you can do today that can really make an impact on your business. If you don't have an autoresponder um, or you know one of these systems where you're building a list, you know you're you're probably doing it wrong. So I would encourage you to you know sign up for one of these options, whichever makes the most sense for you. I'll put the links in the description. Hit me up in the comments and happy creating.